The fellowship's objective is to continue friendships made during work and to form new ones. This together with shared interests, activities and pursuits, all organised by the membership, for the membership, makes the NHS Retirement Fellowship the perfect place for you. Anyone who retires from the National Health Service can join, along with their partners. It provides friendship and support for people throughout their retired lives. work for the NHS and you're all working for the same thing, for the benefit of your patient. You're used to meeting a lot of people and then suddenly when you retire you're very much on your own and, and it's to keep that fellowship going and, and it's renewing friendships and people maybe that you've worked with many years ago and some that you, you've worked all your life with. Making new friends as well as keeping in touch with old. We've got that bond that we've all worked there, you know, whether you worked in Manchester in the hospital or in, in Wales or in Scotland. You've all been through the same sort of thing. When I retired from the NHS, after over 40 years of service, I was determined to try and keep in contact with friends and colleagues whom I'd worked with over these many years. I felt the NHS Retirement Fellowship was just the sort of organisation to beat this requirement. So it keeps people in touch. Socially it's very good like that. And it's, a, it's a good place for friendship. And to remember and reminisce those old times. You've made very welcome. You met up with folk you hadn't seen for years. And it was just, just the years rolled by. <laughs> and there's a lot of chat about the old days. And obviously you make new friends. Lots of new friends. And it's a, it's a good place for friendship. I like people, that's why I went nursing. I like being with people, I like enjoying different activities in groups and with other people. And, and that's basically why I joined Company and Friendship. At our branch we meet every month and we have a variety of activities. Yes, we were found a lot of new friends and we went on trips to places that I'd never been to. It's nice to get with other people and enjoy theatre, things I wouldn't normally do if I were on my own. In April we were up at Car Bridge, there was um, about 14 of us there. I had a wonderful time, the weather was fantastic and everybody thoroughly enjoyed themselves. The Fellowship can offer you a range of opportunities and you can share your experiences and enthusiasm. had lots of good speakers, very interesting speakers. Geologists talking about global warming. Authors, speakers on foreign travel. Experts on, on music, antique talks, beekeepers. The theatre, to the ballet, to musicals, uh, canal trips, you name it and we'll organise it. I think that the fellowship, the retirement fellowship, is enormously important because uh, the, the combined intelligence of, of that group of people, uh, we can't just let disappear when they retire. So the idea that they get together and continue to take an interest and talk about the NHS, not just to the, their colleagues and friends, but to others, is an enormously important thing. I'm constantly asked by people who are moving into positions of management or positions of change for support and help and advice. And really the, 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 the concept of a mentor or a coach is tremendously valuable in the NHS today, but who is in a good position to give that advice? Well, I would say nobody more so than somebody who has retired after a career of experiencing the same sorts of pressures and changes um, that my current staff are experiencing now. Yeah. 
NHS Retirement Fellowship were asked to give their comments on closure of a accident emergency unit and transferring it to the one particular hospital. As a Minister of the Welsh Assembly Government, I'm delighted to support the NHS Retirement Fellowship. I'm also delighted to acknowledge and value the role of the members of the Fellowship and the expertise that they can offer. You can take advantage of the opportunities which the Fellowship can offer. You can support and be supported by your colleagues and have opportunities to contribute in many ways. Each year we have an annual conference. It's an opportunity for us all to get together. We decide policies, but we also have a good time. I'm very pleased to have been invited to, to speak to the Retirement Fellowship um, about the, the last five years in the NHS and what it's been like. You know, if the civil service HR people had been responsible for naming famous feature films, might we have had that one? The good, the bad and the surgically challenged. <laughs> I come every second year. Well, I've come uh, twice now. This is the first time I've been. It won't be the last. Today, I've learned quite a lot from the speech this morning. Uh, you get ideas of, of where to go, and, and you can see the different support mechanisms that they've got going in their branch that you think, well, maybe we can adopt some of those ideas for our own branch. I feel that there are lots of my friends in Canada who have trained in health service and I have spoken to them about coming over here with me to find out what's happening on the broader spectrum rather than just being in our own fellowship to meet people from other areas. Uh, we've met a lot of people and we meet them every year and it's, it's nice. Yes, and it's a holiday as well, so it's very nice. swimming, particularly when we go to the annual general meeting because there's usually a pool at the hotel where we stay. I think the spirit is tremendous. You will have a lot of decisions to make when you retire. I do hope that one of them will be to join the Retirement Fellowship. You will have the opportunity to keep in touch with colleagues, meet new friends and develop new interests. The branch is run on a very informal basis and the members come to the meetings to have a chat and have a bit of fun. I joined several years ago and I've enjoyed every moment. So join the fellowship and make the most of your retirement. I hope you've enjoyed looking at our short film. Hearing from some of the members of the Fellowship and others associated with the National Health Service. To find out more, visit our website, email, write, or telephone. I can assure you of a very warm welcome.